Hi, everybody. It's Ray. It's Life and Vibe. And I bet everybody thought I had bailed on my challenge, but no, I just had to run some errands today. But if you've been following me, we are now in day three of my challenge to react and make commentary to all of Sarasota Tim's videos that he is releasing. And so he's released quite a few today already. And uh, I was waiting all morning and uh, was suddenly I had things to do with getting ready for graduate school and just, you know, trying to make sure that I got all my ducks in a row so that I could sit and just make a lot of content. <laughs> <laughs> but for those of you who have subscribed to my channel, I certainly do appreciate it. And uh, people say I don't have to do my full bio. So if you do want to find out a little bit more about me, check my description box. But I do always want to say this is fair use and uh, for entertainment purposes only. And even though I am a healthcare professional, you know, this is just my opinion. I'm not treating or diagnosing anybody. All right, let's just get over to Tim. Uh, we got morning chat, guys. So let's get over to here. I am going to speed him up to 1.25 in order to get through this uh, morning chat. Um, I think he's getting ready to go on the road. All right, Tim, take it away. Oh, hold on. Before Body Sarasota, Tim. Oh, hold on, Tim, before you do. Let me change how we look over here. There we go. More Tim. I always think, do we want this? Do we want this? You know, with me and Tim, you don't really see much more of me over there than here. So let's just do it here. All right, Tim, take it away. How are you, 98,412.1? <laughs> Beautiful souls doing out there this morning. I'm coming to you from the surface of the sun. Keep saying that, Tim, because it's annoyed people so much and actually brought subscribers to me at that unsubscribed from your channel. And the next video, we're going to take a little bit more at your channel analytics. So I appreciate it. <laughs> I appreciate this challenge to pump out this much content as well, because I am not used to producing this much content in thumbnail. And I'm protecting myself. I'm shielded in. I get all the shades down. The AC is working and she's working good. But uh, we do all we can around here to stay cool. I'm out of here, man. I'm out of here. Let me turn these up. Lights out back here in my camper, and let's talk a minute about what's going on. I close all these doors and shut off uh, like a submarine. You know, I, sh I shut off different rooms to uh, to stay cool, and it works perfect. Um, let me turn off that sound bar there. I got these these lights on my sound bar. Boom. I, I so uh, I met a nice couple next door from California, uh, Jerry and Sue. Their son works here at one of the casinos, and they're from California. Like I said, they're visiting. They got a, a Class C motorhome. And he is 80 years old, and I'm telling you, you would not even know it. And, um, I mean, he said one of his secrets is he doesn't even take Advil. He doesn't go to these doctors. Now, I told him the third leading cause of death is going Oh, for goodness sake. I'm sorry. My nose is feeling a little bit runny over here. So if I, if I twitch on my nose, it's because that's where my infection currently is. I apologize. Um, <laughs> I did take a Benadryl today, so I should be drier than usual. But, uh, Tim, why are you giving all these gentlemen's details away? And uh, I don't recommend people never seeing a doctor. There are so many people who do not care for their health and are very sedentary in this country. And I can let you know that uh, heart disease is the leading cause of death, followed by probably cancers of all types together. Sorry, my nose is itching. I apologize. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, he um, always likes to say that not to go to see doctors, but I understand you've been having some issues with your eyes, Tim. Um, and it looks like that a uh, short amount of time, a blepharoplasty to sort of take away the hoods of the eyes would be beneficial for you because start to obscure you from driving. So, yeah, I'm going to let Tim talk and I'm going to grab a tissue. Going to a doctor. And it really is. If you Google it next to heart, uh, heart attacks and cancer, it's uh, medical errors is what's killing people. Here, take this. Take these. Take these pills. Let's do this surgery. Misdiagnosis. And that's exactly what it is. Third leading cause of death. If you got a cold or something. <sighs> really good advice, Tim. That's really good advice. You know, I don't suggest taking antibiotics for a cold. But to say that seeing any type of healthcare professional is going to 
mean that you're going to pass away. It's waiting to see us so that you're at a point where you are so ill that there is potential for more errors to be made in care because we've got patients who are sicker with more complex things going on. I just say check your blood pressure early, you know, get all the basics of exercise, diet, and sleep, and hydration. Though I do have the best cup of coffee in the world. Thank you for those of you who have bought me a coffee. My link is in the description box below. So I'm getting good at this, Tim. All right. <laughs> Keep going. Well, this is an internal thing that you definitely need to go to a doctor. I'd stay clear of doctors. They're killing people. <clears throat> mm. But anyway, he's a really nice guy. What a mm. gentle soul he was. I couldn't believe it when he told me he was 80 years old. And uh, he was recommending some places that I can go. Do you really have to tell everybody's story? And do you really have to give such bad advice about not following up with healthcare professionals? Again, this is where people get in trouble. This man could be potentially an outlier. He could just be saying that. How do you know? I just, Tim, again, terrible advice. This is going to be called don't see your doctor advice from Tim, which I obviously is a medical professional and one studying mental health. This is really bad advice. I cannot believe people send you so much money in coffee donations to be telling people not to get an annual checkup with their doctor. Not telling people to go and eat Advil. But if you go to obviously, they're going to try to correct it. Now you can tell the doctor no, but you still need to see a doctor. <sighs> Terrible advice, Tim. Uh, that he lives in Southern California. They're not in California. Uh, and these are places that ironically, my co-pilot, John, uh, has already been recommending. And while I'm talking <clears throat> about John, I shout out a lot of people all the time yes, uh, that do. I meet. And I interview subscribers that want to meet me and things like that to show up. And I'm honored. But let me tell you guys again, I've mentioned him before. John. Making other people content, I guess, and trying to win favor with your audience so you can get more views and so forth. All right, Tim. Come on, keep your pants on with that one, mate. <laughs> Uh-oh. Sorry, guys. I kind of clicked back a little bit. Let me get him on here. Okay. Three to a four. Catastrophic. So um, nobody wants to take tea times past 11. If you don't oh, get there early at 530 or 6, I well. interview subscribers that want to meet guys. me and things like that that show up, <gasps> and I'm honored. But let me tell okay. you guys again, I've mentioned him before. John I apologize for skipping around. <laughs> Seems like I did something when I was laughing at Tim <sighs> using his subscribers as content. Ah, John, my oh, co-pilot, hey. who I've never met, has been one of the best assets <laughs> of me out here traveling on this RV. The wealth of information that he provides daily. I mean, he wears me out too. This guy can really do some research. He listens so good to my videos of what I'm talking about and whether I go there or not. Ugh. And he hasn't stopped. I mean, airfares, RV parks, love truck stops, Walmarts, Planet Fitnesses, everything that I'm interested in. <clears throat> I mean, it's like. <laughs> Can we get a repeat of that list of things that Tim's interested in? Hold on. I feel like I need to write this down. Uh, it was um, loves truck stops. Um, what did we get? Walmarts. Did we get parking lots? I don't know. Let me go back. Just let me just 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 bear with. I need to get this list. It's important. All the things that we're going to see on Tim's upcoming videos. Truck stops, Walmart's, Planet Fitnesses, everything that I'm interested in. <clears throat> I mean, it's like I have an AI genie uh, that's working like with me. So, John, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna have to go. Back. I mean, airfares, RV parks, oh. love truck stops, Walmart's, Planet Fitnesses. Everything that I'm interested in, <clears throat> I mean, it's like I have an AI genie uh, that's working with me. So, John, thank you so much for what you're doing, and I hope it's not any trouble for you. He told me in one email that he just likes doing that, researching things. So he, I'm really, really blessed uh, to have this person in my community, as well as the rest of you, uh, 98,000 beautiful souls. So I wanted to talk to you this morning about uh, what well, that's awesome. I'm glad your subs are also. I, I'm sorry I skipped around so much there, guys. I needed to capture the entirety of Tim's interests so we know what we're going to be potentially seeing in upcoming videos. So we have RV parks, loves truck stops, 
Walmarts, we got airfares, and Planet Fitness. <laughs> Actually sounds like a pretty good list. Sounds like your uh, viewer knows you quite well, Tim, unless you told him what to, to tell you. Why aren't you doing your own research? I think people like to come to Tim's rescue. What my plans are. And I want to golf. And I know oh. the golfing videos, it's not a golfing channel. And there's been quite a few. And a lot of you have watched my channel because of the eclectic array and different morning chats and crushing it for Christ and cowboy cooking steaks. And don't forget about the refrigerator mm. videos. We still got those coming. Oh God, please no <laughs> but more. Um, uh, Timmy Apple Valley is leaving here. Keep your pants on there, Tim. We don't want any more refrigerator ones. That wasn't even a good joke because you didn't take the joke at the time. And you kept that video up for far too long after your subscribers told you it was problematic. After your audience said, hey, Tim, or whoever it was said, hey, you know, you, know, you don't have your pants on or anything on. And you just, you know, skimmed past your reflective refrigerator. So, hmm, I don't think anybody queuing up for that content, Tim. My goodness. Cowboy cooking steaks and crushing it for Christ and Tim Cup golf eclectic mix of videos. Oh, Lord. <laughs> what are we going to get this week? We already had poor Timmy. In about an hour, he's going to stop by and say hello if I'm still here. Mm. I'm trying to go to the golf course. Maybe. It's 110 degrees today, and oh. yesterday it was it burned your skin. Um, people were right when they said 100 is one thing, 10 more degrees. I mean, you finally get to a point where 10 more degrees is a lot. It's like a hurricane. Once it goes from you know category three to a four, catastrophic. So um, nobody wants to take tea times past 11. If you don't get there early at 5:30 or six, I I'm an early guy, as you guys know, but I don't really want to swing a golf club that early. I like to drink some coffee. Uh, maybe do a little workout or something like that. That's an absolute shebang lie. It's just because it's almost like double the price to get those early morning teas. You're just cheap, Tim. It's got nothing to do with you and your dang coffee. If somebody was offering you a free round of golf at 5.30 a.m., you'd be lugging that coffee in your hand to that golf cart in a blink of the eye. Undoubtedly, in my opinion. <laughs> so don't even, don't even start. It's because you're cheap. You want to get the cheaper tea times. We all know. Anyone who plays golf knows that. Even in places where the weather is decent, it's those morning tea times are the popular ones. You know it, Tim. Yeah, but you know it. <clears throat> we teed off <clears throat> at uh, Lake Havasu uh, with Vince and Rick and Phil at 630. And that was like kind of tough. I can do it and I will do it, but that's the only way that you can play golf here at this time of year because all the Can golf courses want you gone and the carts back in by 2 p.m. Where in Florida, I'm used to in the summer, the rates go way down. They still let you play golf till you can't see your ball anymore till dark. And um, that's the way it goes. You can tee off whatever time you want. Well, I'm going to go to Walmart today and I'm going to buy, I've done this before. See, he said when the rates go down. So he's kind of making out that he's not really... Uh, He's not even an early morning person. He likes to languish with his coffee. I mean, this man is a man of leisure. You know, don't rush Tim out of the house. He's crushing it during his retirement, everybody. <laughs> I actually met a lady today who said that she returned back to work because she was bored alone at home. She'd much rather be working as the cashier at Walgreens and interacting with people, probably if you do it part time and it's not something that you feel you have to make yourself do for 40 hours a week. So you can't get an appointment in the week. Probably it's not terrible. It's part time work is actually very pleasant. It's full time <laughs> when you still like, feel like a full time job of managing your life. <laughs> a golf umbrella. I don't know if you know what a golf umbrella is, but it's a extra large umbrella. It's almost like a beach umbrella. <laughs> They're pretty big. And, uh, I priced them the other day when I was at Walmart. I could not believe. Mm, Tim, Tim, Tim. All right, keep going. Let me hear. We got to wait for this because we're going to be, you You know it, guys. The inflation of how everything, these umbrellas used to be like 15, 20 bucks. They're $30 now. It's just, uh, the cost of things today are really annoying. Like the golf. Okay, let's get over to here. What the, the Jesus was that, Tim? I think Judge Mathis has something to say about this. No, no. 
I simply asked. I said, I wish I could have this dry bacon. Well, I mean, how do you know what that is? Yeah, Tim, that was a full on. Uh, can anybody help me get $30 worth of $5 coffees? That'd be five. You know, send me six coffees. Because for me to get a good golf umbrella is $30. Tim, you've had hundreds of dollars sent. And your views, you know, I'm not going to tell you how to run your channel. But I'm sure you're making some money on the views. That's all I'm going to say. Somebody said I help you too much. <laughs> <laughs> maybe unfortunately i have studied how youtube works but my god tim i need to hear it one more time no maybe not i don't want to kill my channel like that but th that was a full-on dry bag that was a full-on dry bag i bet if we check his buy me a coffee later on this week we'll see that somebody sent him 30 dollars for that golf umbrella it's going to be one of his you know regular sponsors Mm -mm -mm. Tam, oh Tam, you have no shame with your game. Golf glove I bought. They used to be five dollars. These little Wilson, um, the, the least expensive golf glove. They were five dollars. They are nine dollars now. Mm. That's a fifty percent increase, folks. I mean, and people are raising prices. They got. Mm. What does? Uh, I'm gonna let them keep talking. Uh, Timmy was telling me at these uh, resorts here, the hotels. They. Um, what they do is they have these sneaky little charges after you book your room called resort fee. And it's $25 per day. It's not $25 on top of the room. It's per darn day. And that's just a gimmick. And then they have all these stores that are charging you a fee if you use your credit card, uh, you know, 50 cents, a dollar and a half. And I'm like, just put it in the price. I mean, I don't like this after the fact. And you see these extra little charges. So. Mm. No, no. I simply asked. I said, I wish I could have this dry bag. Well, I mean, how do you know what that is? Yeah, absolutely, Tim. This is just awful. You want people, you just bought that glove, and now you want people to send you like $10. Oh, two coffees for the gloves. That's $30 for the umbrella. That's 40 Shoot, they should just round up, send you 10 coffees, make it a, an even 50, hey? Then you're everyone knows about a resort fee if you go to one of these hotels in Vegas. They always want to charge you for the gym and, and, and the pool and all of the extra amenities that come along with these places. You gotta to check to see if it's included or are they going to charge you a resort fee? And usually with these large places that are like resorts, they always tack that resort fee on. You're just, you know. <laughs> Obviously, one, you don't know how to ask enough questions when you're going for a stay because you need to find out all the charges. And secondly, you're out here dry begging the F out of your subscribers at the moment. Oh, my goodness. I mean, this is what morning chat is. Tim telling everybody that he's gone and, you know, after he's walked around in those darn you know, foot joy, $150 golf shoes and rolled around in his $100 pro, sh you know, shirts from a pro shop because he wanted to, you know, look like he was balling at the pro shop, you know, which everybody knows the pro shops are the most expensive places to go to. <sighs> mm -mm -mm. And then the people from his audience sent him this money. So he's, he's, he's trying to get some more coffee money going. Just unbelievable, Tim. And you can move that money pretty quickly. And they don't take as much of a cut as YouTube does. So it's much better if you want to help a channel out to do it through buy, buy me a coffee than anything that actually sometimes goes through YouTube. Even though I love my memberships and there is information to do that. Okay. There's a lot of things that I don't like that's going on in the cost of living. But I want to tell you this. Um, let me get back to what I was trying to say. So we're going to get out of here. Miss T is going to come at the end of the month. We're very, very excited about this. We have a very, a very big plan. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, it's not etched in stone by any shape because we have to begin first. And uh, mm -hmm. we're gonna, just going to start one day at a time and, and see what God opens the doors to do. Oh, but we have got a plan. Uh, we've got a goal. And we're very excited about it. And so that's the next thing. So. There's so many aspects of this life that I'm living that are uh, 
just a, a, a just, it's just amazing this is what he does he has no editing he can't do a thumbnail he just comes out here and just blabs out it'd be you know i talked about my errands but it'd be literally like me just like blah blah and then you know i walk the dog and ran up to walgreens and over to trader joe's and grabbed my coffee from you know and and actually took you along with me i i, I can promise you just one video that I did crushing it for coffee that was enough for me but you know the sort of I just wonder what is the you know is he helping people who feel very lonely feel connected what is the charisma what's the cult of personality here I am very curious for those who like and enjoy Tim's content and feel compelled to send this uh 65 year old man who's telling people not to see a doctor um a lot of money I I would love to set up a, an assessment to find out <laughs> out of my curiosity. A real blessing. I need to write <clears> and I try to give back in every way I can mm -hmm. by trying to bring you guys good content, encouraging you and sharing information regarding Social Security mm -mm. Uh, and living your life and places to go and eat and do and have and uh, buy some golf. Dr. Ed Weir literally had to pull himself out of retirement, Tim, <laughs> to counteract your terrible Social Security advice. People said, stop calling it SSI. I, I understand now. <laughs> Sounding like a foreigner, though I am sometimes. Uh, I'm like, I'm a mix. I'm a hybrid, everybody. So, yes, I was born in the U.S. I was raised in the U.K. And I live in the U.S. So, yeah, I don't know everything. I'm not a know-it-all like Tim. <laughs> but, no, none of that content, none of that content quality, Tim. It's all terrible. Often. You know, just having a good laugh, uh, interviewing other people. Yeah, they don't. And want uh, you also support them uh, through your prayers of those that needed support. Uh, and, and and can we see on video, please, one of your um, pay it forward coffees? Just one time. Just have cash on you. So you don't have to worry about whether you're getting something through an app. Or maybe the person could be on the phone afterwards and you can get all intrusive and tell them about how, you know, they feel so special that you paid it forward to them. But we get no receipts on that. We just get Tim's stories. Have you notice that? That seems very suspicious to me, Tim. So I'm you like very Vegas, suspicious Johnny about Vegas that with now. his shoulder and his back. And it's just a great, great thing that we've got going on. And all that positivity is only going has to become him. part of my life. Yeah. And I don't ever want it to end. And mm. it is not going to end. <clears throat> no, Tim does not want this gravy train to come to an end. Gravy train coming to an end. Because he's because he saw, you know, what happened probably because you can see every day how much money you make with YouTube. You can I'm sure he's deep in that those analytics better than he is creating quality content that every, anybody actually cares to watch. <laughs> I just set myself a challenge because it's amazing to see somebody put out this much content in a week. We're going to be on a go now. Although some out there try to make it, but they better hope that it never does because then they'll dry up to nothings. Uh, but we don't even care about that. That's just part of a uh, part of life. And, uh, you know, God bless those out there. Mm -hmm. But folks, I'm bring, going to be going somewhere him. soon. We're going to be bringing some different stuff. And where was I going with that? I was going to talk about golf. <laughs> yeah. Man, I got the golf thing bad. I used to play golf every day for three years in Sarasota, Florida. <clears throat> this was before I met Miss T. Mm. Well, not before I met her, but before I was with her. You need to have that cough scene, too. It can indicate heart conditions sometimes. Just saying, but you know, I'm trying to take you out as a medical professional. <laughs> I live in this uh, little uh, cottage in the backyard of this lady's house for about six years. And it was a nice setup. It was a nice gig. It was $500 a month. I went out and I sold my coupon things that I did. Mm. I made a pocket full of hundreds. And then I went to the golf course and I played two rounds every day for three years. It was a place. Yeah, I hear you overstayed your welcome in Boyden Beach <laughs> or Sarasota at the time if that was sarasota or was that boyden beach one of the two <laughs> one of the two maybe it was boyden beach uh i don't know comment down below which one but from what i'm understanding tim potentially had overstayed his welcome in these areas so this 500 dollars room something happened he wears people out because he's a taker it didn't care after your round was over that you just kept going and in the summertime they just said just just have fun and we had about six or eight of us out there that did that yeah. there was more but those six or eight that i knew were the ones that we hung out with so now that i started playing mm -hmm. golf again 
it's really going to be a big part of my life because I don't want to stop. I am a golfer. I want to be a golfer. And I watched a bunch of tutorials uh, on YouTube uh, yesterday and every day and late, late last night. It's just got me so amped about getting out there and trying different things uh, that I've been learning because I'm a sponge. Well, that's fine. Just don't make it 30 minutes of content twice a day. I'm the type of person I believe if you show me how to do what you can do, that I can do it as good as you, if not better. That's the kind of aptitude that I feel like I have. Now, that isn't true with everything. Of course, there's certain skill sets. I can't juggle. I don't care how long you sit here and try and show me. So I'm being facetious, but I'm just saying. What about the practice of medicine, Tim, that takes years of study and uh, clinical acumen that you would never understand? What about that? But I guess, you know, doctors just want to kill people. You know, that's a lot of different nosocomial infections and things that are, you know, yes, there are errors made in medicine. I would say so. It's a very convoluted system and we get very sick patients. And that's why it's important for people not to be overstressed and overworked and able to perform their jobs the best of their abilities so that they don't make mistakes. I remember that was one of the one things that I really was cautious of as an RN was mistakes and also looking at orders to ensure for patient safety and that they were appropriate. But a lot of people, they get rushed in healthcare. But you need to stop this rhetoric because I can promise you heart disease is taking 70 some percent of those deaths, if not more. The rest are cancer and the amount that are due to medical errors are a much smaller amount comparatively to heart disease, which would lead me to think that people need to stop checking their blood pressures and seeing a doctor before. I would take the statistic of t seeing the doctor on that heart disease, just, just my fault, and potentially the cancer too, and, you know, with preventative scans and so forth. But, you know, what do I know? You know, I'm not grifting for Christ over here. <laughs> I have aptitude. I have confidence in myself always that I can do stuff. When they say this stuff. And I want to know how to do stuff. And part of what I want to do in my life that I've always done to is to be kind and to be positive and how to win friends and influence people. I've been in sales my entire life. Mm. So the alarm went off, a 15 minute alarm to take my blue eye. Well, so I, I mean, sales is just a lot of charisma often, Tim, <laughs> you know, a lot of gift of the gab often. It's not necessarily not every salesperson is ethical and wanting to ensure that the customer is getting the best product. You very have publicly said on this channel, your channel, that you didn't work very much. You made a couple of hundred bucks on those coupon books. I promise you that wouldn't float you nowadays. That, and you know that with the YouTube me. gravy saying, train. I want to learn how to... Um, hold on. And I promise you, he's probably making more from that buying me a coffee <laughs> than even his YouTube at the moment. He really has a nice little little business going on. And we're going to check out if he gets those coffees for all that dry begging that he did earlier. I can't believe you're making my video this long, Tim. <laughs> my, my, my channel likes a shorter video, but you have so much problematic stuff happening in this thing. I cannot believe your morning chat. Now that Timmy's out of the picture, the good old Tim is back. Drops it right here. Dry begging. I want to learn how to be a good Christian. Umbrella. I quit it's my so drinking. Uh, I, I've cleaned up my mouth. I stopped watching the media. And I, I try to look at the bright side of everything. Positivity is addictive and it's healthy. And you have a much happier life. You're not as sick as often. You give everybody the benefit of the doubt. If there's someone being ugly or you know they're just, you know, then... Johnny Vegas. I can't talk to you right now. I want you to employ, employ these things in your life. There are so many things you can do that are free that will change your life. And you know what it is? It's changing your thinking. And golf teaches me that too. There's an old saying in golf that the longest distance in golf. As long as it's after 1130 or whatever the peak prime time pay hours are, then Tim will be all for it. Uh, uh. You are such a hypocrite standing out here, allegedly, in my opinion, only, sir. You just the way you dry begged on that umbrella. I just I can't. It's terrible. You told people exactly how much you needed. 
and to pay you want almost reimbursed for that golf club you just got the other day with Timmy. You want someone to pay for that too. You're such a leech, in my opinion only. Is between your ears. There's so much emotion. <clears throat> People get out there and they don't make a good golf shot and they want to break their clubs in half and cuss and throw their clubs and do all this stuff. They're not even good enough to get mad, but they do. And I understand the frustration of it, but that's a test of your life in anything about being patient, mm. staying calm and having balance. And when a person- Is that what you feel like you need to do in order to get your hands on Miss Tammy's money and get that house on the golf course that you so desire? Cause I know you got something like that planned for Miss Tammy or there's a trip or something. Oh my goodness. But you are trying to get her away from her family and to a place where you can be with her somewhere else. There's all sorts of rumors uh, swirling about you being out of Florida, Tim. <laughs> I'm not partaking in that, but if it gets interesting, I will, because it will be interesting to see how you respond to people. Just from a psychiatric sort of speculative point of view, obviously, I'm not treating or diagnosing Tim. I just watch out of curiosity for cults of personality. Has control of their thoughts Come and their on. mind, and they think correctly uh, about other people, about the world. <clears throat> Why am I got this? Why do I have this? When people are influenced and they don't think for themselves, they don't have, I guess they call it critical thinking. And they're so influenced by what other people say and this media or these YouTube channels or <laughs> these Tic Tacs and all these things you can read on your phone, just stories that just fill your mind with, I was just talking to Jerry next door, the 80 year old, it's like, in a, he's a bill of health. He was telling me, I was sharing with him about- Oh yeah, because you know, every time I usually do a physical exam on an 80 year old, Tim, they're just the, the, the specimens of health often. You know, comparatively for their age, they probably are. But compared to a 30 year old, probably not. <laughs> it's so funny, because you know a lot of your audience is probably around that age, so you're buttering them up. See, Tim's always a salesperson, you see. I, I'm not a salesperson. I, I do uh, other things, obviously. <laughs> but he is just, you know, with all this stuff about mindset and positivity and, oh, my goodness. He just, he needs to get that, that buy me a coffee gravy train going, guys. He needs that. He's here for the money. He's here for the grift this morning, in my Some opinion. Some of the downsides of being a YouTuber. And he says, you know what? Uh, he's not even into youtube that much you know he's Amazing. old old school his wife he said is but he he agreed with one thing when i started i started to tell him about there's these people though that i don't even know that want to try to bring people down he didn't understand <laughs> any of that because he don't follow youtube but he understood that uh tim's bitching told my french about the reaction channels and i'm writing him hard this week i you know I've made it my mission just to sit and watch. And if people want to join me on this adventure, have at it. But uh, I'm sure he's very aware that he's being watched by me at this moment. And uh, he knows about Blind Views and Darling and LOL Olive Oil and Atomic Stage. And I think, uh, what was it, D Dino as well. There's a Ms. Vicky. There's so many good reaction channels. Birdie the Explorer gets out there. All of these folks, so check them all out. I think I had them all listed uh, in one of my my only so far live stream of Tim, but we'll be doing another. Don't you worry, Tim. Maybe to round out your uh, my time with you, maybe we'll just go live. That the world needs a lot of help. That we are going down a road. Most people are going down a road, folks, that is terrible. I mean... You can say all you want that the world has always had haters and people, you know, that do crime and all these heinous things and all that. But let me just tell you something. And grift and con. <laughs> we have not had a world like that, like we have today. We need to change. So many people don't know, young people coming up, anything about the way this country used to be. The prices, about God, mm. about being moral. I, I'm sorry. They don't need to know what the prices were back in 1953 because it doesn't really it doesn't really pertain to them. But I promise you, one of the things that kids love to do that has become the hot thing to do is kids graduating from high school. I'm not talking college, high school, and their thing is to get on to the prices right. 
while they're graduating from high school, like 18 year olds. That's their like TikTok goal at the moment to, to get one of those prizes on prices right. They've seen all these older folks getting on there, winning stuff. We've already got a lifetime of, of belongings. So these young people have realized, shit, get myself over to California. I'm going to get myself on the prices right. You want to talk about some old school? Don't, don't stop talking smack about young people. It makes you sound real old, Tim. And neighborly. And, you know, uh, I was watching something on TV when uh, Timmy came by yesterday. We spent a little bit of time here. I guess neighborly is you grifting 50 bucks out of your subs for your buy me a coffee so you can dry bag off a golf umbrella and a golf club. That that to me is shameful. You can't grift, in my opinion. After our dinner, Watch yourself, we were watching Tim, YouTube. Watching you. We were playing some, uh, some videos. And he was like, look, there's no pagers. There's no cell phones. There was no internet. Look how people enjoyed themselves and how things used to be. Now, I know that the internet and technology is something that really helps our world. But yeah, and it's helping you out a great deal, Tim, because without that, these people that are feeling lonely in their homes wouldn't be watching your garbage on YouTube because, God, it's it's dull. You just stand here and, and just go off like this. And you just sound like Uncle, you know, Uncle Tim at the Christmas party that ugh, everyone's trying to get away from. <laughs> and you just are here getting money. And thanks to YouTube, you got a lot of money and you're in that RV. And paying those $300 a month you need to pay in order to pay off your EIDL loan, allegedly. Well, you've actually spoken about it publicly. So you are allegedly are making payments. It has been misused so terrible. And people are just brainwashed. They're, they're brainwashed in believing what these people that they want to esteem so highly. Doctors, media people, lawyers, financial advisors, YouTubers. How well, no, you, how dare you even try to put yourself in there with a doctor, Tim, a YouTuber. And listen to this guy lying out here all the time about his close, to, the, the man who's more focused on trying to get a 100K plaque than any 20-year-old out here on YouTube. Oh, my goodness. And then having the audacity to say that about doctors, are you crazy? I mean, I don't mean it like that. <laughs> Sorry. Are you, what is your mind thinking at this time? Sorry, I, I didn't mean to use my old school language like that. Especially at working in mental health, I, I need to be judicious of how and careful how I use that word. But Tim, how dare you? Really? You are so, this is what always happens when people who, you know, lack the education want to come out at this age and start you know you you feel because you feel all secure at the moment in your youtube channel tim and the fact that you're about to you know con miss tammy out of whatever money i don't even want to get into that drama unless it shows up anybody and everybody that's on the internet that people want to esteem because they say, oh, that they know the best diet. They got the, he's wearing a white coat. He's got a stethoscope. <laughs> he's standing in front of a Ferrari. He has a smart one to listen to. I'm standing in front of Ferrari. I mean, Tim, and, and, and you know what? Piss you. I'm putting my stethoscope on. Nurse Ray's coming out. <laughs> Does this make me feel like I'm more of an authority? I guess so. All right. And I got my white shirt on by just happenstance. So, Tim. Do you know how many years of school and education it takes to go into medicine? No, because you dropped out of high school at 16 and in, had having impregnated what I understand your teacher and then married her. So a 16-year-old high school dropout who impregnated his teacher and then married the teacher who I understand might have already had children of his own. That's why you've got a child that's not much old, younger than you, Tim. So just, you know, don't shame other people and and be this person because i can see you grifting for 50 bucks for some coffees and a golf umbrella or not coffee well coffee's always but <laughs> the glove <laughs> the golf glove folks it's all optics and it's all bs people are out today it's a dog eat dog world they care nothing about god most people <laughs> they care nothing about you and they care nothing about this country and so what we need to do is we need to get centered. We need to start thinking right. Mm -hmm. When you go golfing, you can go out there and do the same habits that so many golfers do. They get out there and they're excited about oh, playing golf and they tee off. off. They sit, slice it over there in the woods oh. or out of bounds. So is this what we're setting up? 
is that Tim's going to go out on his golf cart and in between shots, he's going to rant on about whatever he thinks that the, the rest of us should be learning. You have no expertise in anything, Tim. And the one thing that you're devoting a lot of time to is golf. And you're so far behind on that curveball for expertise that nobody, you know, nobody wants to watch your golf videos. <sighs> you're really irritating me on this one today. Gosh darn it, Tim. I got to crank out this content, mate. I'm already running behind. Just as my dog out. <laughs> and the rest of the golf game, it's just a bad attitude. It's just, just a, they're horrible to be around. It's a foul mouth. They're, every, before they even swing the club, they're already mad. And oh, no. no one's paying you to be out there. You paid to be out there. Oh. So have a good time. Um, you're in. You're trying to get paid by posting it on YouTube and hoping that enough people will watch that. Just really very, even with two people, it was just vaguely interesting. Thank God Timmy was there. Because otherwise, Tim, you are trying to get your golf games paid for. And you're trying to crank it up and tell people that you're just going to be becoming a golf channel. Well, good luck with that. You can have as much golf as you want. But you're going to have to suspect that some of your subscribers are going to drop off, mate. <laughs> In this world, you got your retirement. You're working towards your retirement. <laughs> make it your world. Make your life the life that you want to have. Don't let other people make a life for you. Don't let other people influence you with their lies and BS uh, just to advance themselves. They could care less about you. I mean, truthfully, all these things that people are listening to is for, is for one reason. So they can sell advertising on the media. It's all about you watching. So that they uh, And how do you get paid, Tim? Are you a monetized YouTube channel with Google AdSense? Do you select how often your ads are played? How do you set up your AdSense? How do you set up your monetization? Because most YouTubers know what they're trying to do in order to at least get some type of, uh, uh, you know, compensated. Sorry, <laughs> I was trying to go for another word. It didn't come out that way. Compensated for their time on the channel and, and hopefully make a little money from their hobby that will pay for the lights, the camera, the, you know, internet, whatever, in order to come out and make a little bit of fun content. And I'm monetized. I don't mind. I've got to buy me a coffee description down below. Obviously I'm, but I'm being honest about it. You need to be honest and say, you know, I want you to send me $50 through my buy me a coffee because I want to buy a golf umbrella and I'm too cheap to use it out of my money. <laughs> and I want you out there, my, my viewers, who so graciously give me thousands of dollars a month and buy me a coffee to, to buy me something else. <sighs> you are just full of it out here, Tim. You've got no skills or expertise and you, you've got the audacity to tell people not to do this and you're doing it. You're telling people not to do the thing that you're doing, if that makes sense. <laughs> advertisers that go on CNN and Fox and stuff like that get rewards by selling their products because they get a lot of eyeballs watching. So they make Well, you get rewards from the Google AdSense for all your viewers too. So what are you talking about? And then you dry beg them for stuff to buy me a coffee. Oh, sorry. I feel like I'm, I'm sorry. I feel like I'm having an argument. <laughs> Obviously the antibiotics are kicking in. <laughs> take up the worst stuff. And over and over and over every day, and you get hooked on it, and it's it's dangerous. It's very very bad for no, your he doesn't like the and So they're channel. making money. They're okay. laughing all the way to the bank. Uh, the Republicans and the Democrats, they're all having lunch together and dinner together every night, saying we really got them going. No, they really think we hate no, each other. No, Tim, We're the ones with the free Tim, life. We're Tim, the ones that don't. If you really want to burn your channel down, so you <laughs> start start political ranting, please let's not. I'm not picking a side. Okay, I'm not letting anybody know what my political affiliations are, if any, <laughs> at this time in my life. <sighs> Please, it sounds like you have been watching too much of that stuff. <laughs> I keep away from the news channels. Obviously, I'm watching you, Tim. <laughs> and the rest of the time, <sighs> I probably have prices right on because I like we'll that. Get speeding tickets. We're the ones that can do anything <laughs> we want. We're the ones that are making the laws. We're the ones that are taking all their taxes. We're the ones that are just raping the and pillaging the country. We got them believing that everything costs more. We got them believing, well, we got to raise the price because our costs are more. It's a big scam that they've hooked onto because they've always been a scam. You understand that the cost of goods that 
companies are having to pay because the dollar may not be as strong at the moment. And this is just a theory. And I'm not a financial person. Could be also affecting the prices. So since our dollar is not as strong of a currency, then we have to spend more dollars to get these products from other nations. And therefore, the cost is now passed to the consumer. And I'm even seeing that the dollar isn't as strong as a currency as it had been in the past, especially in the 80s and 90s when the dollar was really strong, even in the early 2000s. Ever since COVID, things have kind of changed. And it often, you know, exposed some of the weaknesses, I think, in our supply chains and so forth. But regardless of that, I noticed today, just looking at <laughs> sunscreen, looking at the prices between Walgreens, Target, because you can look in the app, obviously, just how expensive it was, like $20, $30 for sunscreens. I mean, just, I mean, a, a fair amount of money, I promise you. So, but I think it's a lot more, you know, deep than just, you know, I don't want to get into it. And I, I don't want to get into it into my chat either, but I just think there's, there's more to it. On a, than Tim, just please don't. And they learn new ways to scam. And you know how they learned it? through the evolution of scamming and through AI. You can go on AI and say, Tim, you're the king of scam. <laughs> so you complained about people making money from ads, but that's how you make money from YouTube because I'm sure you are a fully monetized channel. Okay. And I'm sure at the time when you had those 2.1 million viral views on that terrible social security video, that should just be picked apart and showed to children and to future retirees what not to do, then you made a lot of money. And you make money off of these views too. And then you make the money off of obviously the buy me a coffee and whatever else. So don't you be complaining about making money from ads, Tim, because this is how you have stopped slinging crackers at Publix, okay? Write me a, a, a speech on how to be president of the United States. It just starts typing. It'll be the oh. best speech you ever read in your life. They do it with YouTube. A lot of these YouTube channels you're watching, they're not even real people. Those are AI voices and those are AI written scripts that if they are real people reading, getting their information, they're not creative. They're just trying to do anything they can as a shortcut to usurp power and money. So folks, if you want to live a good life, cut it out, block it out. Mm -hmm. only, only concern yourself with the one you're with. Make sure they do the same thing. And that sounds like somebody who's trying to lead a cult. <laughs> I'm just saying, just my opinion. When you're trying to tell people not to listen to any sources of information because it's all garbage, that's very concerning, you know? I mean, people should watch from a variety of different news sources with a variety of biases, even ones you may not agree with that make you uncomfortable to watch because it's good to hear the other side, even if you may not agree with it. It teaches you tolerance. It doesn't teach you to want to not see a doctor or turn off everything. This sounds very dangerous advice to me. I mean, you're really feeding into some, you know, fears. This is like the time when our seniors need to be more engaged with their healthcare providers, more engaged with what's happening and not isolated. Very bad advice. And if they don't, and they want to hang out in, a, in an outhouse and come out stinking eventually, and it's affecting you, then you got to make some decisions. Mm. You know, you really are. Isn't this uh, boy talk? I am no longer, I do not tolerate, I should say, <laughs> people that are negative. I don't mean it like that, but I'm just saying he's trying to come off like good old boy, you know, like, listen to me. I've got it. I'm your everyday man. Uh, you know, you shouldn't listen to anybody else. I've got the answers. You know, I'm a good old boy. That's why I meant. So please don't take any uh, misrepresentation as to me demeaning anybody who is uh, from the country. <laughs> okay. I just meant that it's a persona that Tim is giving off at the moment. This is somebody who's never led a business, who's never been a anything except somebody who sold coupon books for oil changes door to door and detailed calls at a car dealership for 17 years and has tried to do as little of work as possible and sees that things are not cheap. Social security isn't going to go very far for him. He doesn't want to follow up with doctors. And he's, you know, he's, he sees Miss Tammy as a money bait. 
obviously this huge. I mean, Tim, please, gosh, this not is for a half a video. second. I mean, if I if Wrap I look at up. you or I read something and you know you said something like I didn't part my hair the right way, you're gone. I mean, there's no reason at all that I need to read any comment on my YouTube channel that's less than kind. What is the point of you writing some disparaging remark? Well, but don't delete it because then you just look foolish. You know, sometimes there are ones, if somebody's threatening you, and I've had to delete that, where it's just been an ugly threat. It actually seemed like it came from your end of the channel, Tim. Mark, like you're going to say I love you on the next comment? No. If that's what's in your heart and that's what you're already writing, well, you had you your two seconds comments, of, uh, of fame and whoever might have read your comment. And after that, you're gone. <laughs> so just just to warn you that I don't tolerate, I don't, I read my comments. I don't just allow people to uh, run roughshod over me. Now, there's a lot of things that I can't control. And whether they think they're hurting me or not, they're actually helping me because they're making me even more popular. What was meant for my harm turns out to be for my good. Uh, but I can, I can definitely. Not really, because then you delete the comments, so now you don't have the engagement. <laughs> so how's it helped you out? It actually, obviously, it's getting under your skin because otherwise you wouldn't be talking about it. <laughs> yes, and then he ends up with like eight comments. There was one like he was deleting sideways the other day which I pointed out that he's deletes the dirty comments away. Suggest that you can press that button and hold that button on your TV. When you hit play, if you just keep holding it, a little menu will come up and you can find that part that says, do not recommend this channel. Hmm. And you can block those channels from ever appearing in front of your eyeballs again, tempting you just like you can delete channels on your cable that you Why would you want to miss my content? It's thrilling. I watched him and react to how he dry bags and it's really heinous in my opinion. And I'm trained to be a psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner. So I see how this person potentially is using his years of sales techniques to be able to get what he wants. I mean, that's what he did for his whole life. I, for a good part of it with the coupon was to have to go door to door, which is probably one of the most difficult types of sales jobs ever is to have to go door to door and you have a lot of doors slammed in your face before you get a door that actually somebody is there and wants to engage in a conversation and then wants to buy your product so you're outside doing a lot of walking and you're hitting a lot of houses and a lot of doors and you take a lot of rejection and so tim is hardened on to that type of you know and he was able he obviously has a gift of the gab so he was able to get out there hustle for a couple of hours couple of days a week he knew he could get out on those golf courses back in the day because you know dollar was stronger so things were cheaper and you could be playing all day on a couple of bucks on a you know a tee off time in the evening after he'd maybe gone out you know <laughs> times have changed him i can tell you that i'm a decade younger than you and i can tell that times have changed you don't even scroll through them. and see cnn and fox Folks, you've got to purge things from your life. If you want to be positive, it takes work. It takes. I mean, I don't disagree with Tim about over flooding yourself with the news channels. I have a neighbor. I swear that thing is playing all day long down below. When I walk past the condo, it's like I hear the news channel going. I used to hear it all the time in the hospital, too. Like, you know, patients would just have those news channels rolling while they're in the, in the hospital bed. I'm thinking, gosh, you're trying to get better. <laughs> <laughs> and so, I mean, I, I, I understand. And obviously, you know, it's, you feel like, you know, you're participating maybe a little bit more engaging with your community when you're watching the news, because you're finding out what's going on around you when you're at an age where potentially you're more limited, either resources, health, uh, mobility, in order to be able to get out and engage that way. And so I can understand, like, not wanting to promote those news channels. But, Tim, this isn't the way to do it. Effort. And the more you try, the more they come at you. The more they come at you. But guess what? The stronger you get and the better you get at it, it's not even a problem. You don't even – because you know what? They really don't have any power. <laughs> you know what power they got? The power you give them. That's it. And there's a lot of weak – This is a very mixed message. I'm sorry to keep interrupting. So he's going from speaking about – his audience not tuning into channels like CNN, Fox News, because obviously election time's coming up. People get very stressed. The news is terrible. And obviously, it's sometimes I kind of, I must admit, I keep away from other than some local news usually in the morning. Um, I kind of keep away from the news, um, especially around election cycles. I literally just 
watch a little bit of local news in the morning, find out what the weather's like, and uh, keep up with a, abreast with a few of the events happening around the world. And that's it. Maybe I'll look at an online paper. But uh, yeah, you can really get deep into that. But then he's kind of saying about reaction channels a little bit and how he doesn't want his audience looking at reaction channels. And he's also going into a little bit of a tangent about his comment section. So he's kind of all over the place here. People. There's a lot of weak people that let them think for them. And they sit there and listen to them for more than a minute. Get rid of them. Turn them off. Block them. Get away from certain people. People on the road out there that aren't driving Curtis, move over. Slow down. Let them go around. Do not get involved with them. L let them go hassle the next car. You just have to learn to, like, be a duck and let the water roll off your back. <laughs> That's what you got to do, folks. <laughs> and it takes work. It yeah. takes a lot of work. And when you get good at it, you can pat yourself on the back. And you know what else will come to you? I, I See, I don't know what he's trying to, to make as a point here uh, about people getting, like, negative criticism and not paying any mind to it. I mean, not all criticism is something to be taken as negative. There is criticism that is positive and feedback that helps you grow and change. And one sign of being, I guess, an adult, if for better use of the word, would be to tolerate when people give you a comment or feedback and it's not something that makes you feel comfortable. It's like, oh, yeah, you're right. I talk too much or I say you know too many times or um, I could speed up or I don't need to do this. And either you listen to it because you know people at the end of the day are trying to be beneficial and help you improve so that you produce something better or you could turn it into a negative and you could get angry and delete comments and, and not grow or change. And I think Tim is in the latter. Blessings like you've never seen before. You will attract positive people in your life. Positive men, positive women, positive everything. Opportunities, job opportunities, um, investment opportunities. Everything good in life that you need and want that make you happy will come to you when you get rid of the negative and only allow the positive to come in. But the more you sit there and wall around and give time of your, your life, five minutes of listening to some garbage or going somewhere or getting into a, a pissing match with someone on the road or anywhere. Tim, people can't believe I'm giving so much of my life to watching your content this week. <laughs> but obviously... Um, I'm, I'm fascinated as I always keep saying by these cults of personality and the charisma and how these people can influence people in social media. It's fascinating to me. Um, it's a little bit out of my field, but obviously it still involves, uh, human behaviors and, uh, that I always find fascinating. And they do have a lot of articles, um, to do with, uh, psychiatry and psychology in regards to these topics and whether or not any of these should be listed in the diagnostic statistical manual and the otherwise known as our DSM five. <laughs> All right, baby, keep going. Your home monitors at your condos, at your homeowner associations, get rid of it, folks. Don't entertain it. Don't let them rob you of your joy. Don't go around wondering, you know, about, What's what they think you think and you will be as you think, you know, and I, I don't know how I get on this tangent. No, I don't <clears> know. I'm talking about Timmy leaving and Miss T coming and all that. And it's getting hot. And I'm going to move and we're going to talk some more about it. This video has been a little bit long. I'm going to make another one now and talk more about it because I have to keep these videos short uh, for upload uh, speed. So I'm going to crush it now and come back on the next one. We're going to continue this yammering and this tangent I'm on because I think we need to talk about it. Crush it. Oh, no. Can we not? <laughs> Can we not? Can we not? Well, that's the first one. I, I know I had two more after that. And uh, I maybe have a third. So we're really going to be going for this content. I'm going to try to spread out the uh, time that they get uploaded. So I'm going to finish this one out, guys, because it got longer. But Timmy got me hot this time. Jeez, Timmy. Anyway, if you do like this type of content, make sure you hit the subscribes. I do appreciate it. Always, as always, want to say thank you to anybody who is one of my channel members. You can find the join button down below. 
and see the different two tier levels. And uh, I so appreciate it. So thank you guys for your support and giving me a chance to make this content. All right, we'll see you on the next.